Howdy folks, Shripster here, and we're back with OSVR Hacker Dev Kit 1.4. In this video, I will explain how to get the head tracking going for uh, the head mounted display. So let's get started. When you first get the dev kit, uh, install everything in your system, all the hardware. Uh, after that, go to this website which you will actually find in the instructions in the book and click get OS VR binaries here you will need some programs uh, get this one the core is included in this one you will need the driver pack uh, get this program as well the tracker view it's handy for testing the tracker to make sure it's reading the headset uh, render manager and the firmware update tool the 1.4 will come with version 7 so you won't need to update it however after that obviously we'll need to use this program so after you've downloaded all of these uh, here they are. You have the runtime, you have the render manager, the uh, driver, and this is the program. One thing to note is I have uh, Norton antivirus and it erases almost everything. I had to turn off Norton so I can install these files it's a driver that's not approved yet so that is the problem uh, go ahead and install all of these and let's get started with the tracking uh, actually this is the firmware program that's how you update it as you see the 1.4 is already at version 7 so there is no update needed now let's get started the headset uses a program called OSVR server for the head tracking display. Click on start all programs and scroll down to OSVR and turn on the OSVR server program. Make sure the headset is in range and in view of the tracking camera currently I have my headset out of view after I move the headset in view you will see that it found the camera and it's located at this location minimize the server do not close out of it make sure you minimize it and click on the OSVR program OSVR tracker view program on this program you can see the demo that the program is reading the headset and it is moving as I am moving the headset you can close out of that that is just a testing tool Now let's start to the next part. Uh, FreePy is a program used to convert the raw output of the OSVR headset to a more compatible uh, output. So for the FreePy program, you go to Google, search FreePy, and it's right there, first one. Click on here to download it. The next part you will need is FreePy OSVR plugin. Download here and click on here to download. At last, you will need a script which you can find at this URL. I will have all of these links in the description 
for your convenience. Scroll down to here. Here is the script for head tracking in open track or face track no IR. We will need that for later. So after you have downloaded the files, make sure you install them. Uh, here's the FreePy program. You can install that. I recommend just installing it on the C drive. It's a tiny program. And install the plugin. For the plugin, you will have to find the exact location of the FreePy installation uh, mine is in C drive program files and FreePy right there click OK and it will install the the plugin I've done that so I'll skip that so run FreePy as administrator on some computers it tends to crash so this is one less step you have to worry about click on file and click new open up the website with the script click select all and copy it insert it here uh, one thing to note is the port uh, 5555. Five, five, five. You will need that for later. Uh, click script and run it. On the bottom here, as you see, there's some numbers showing. And as I move the headset, they are changing. That is what you want. That is good. Go ahead and minimize that. And the last thing you will need is face track no IR. Face track no IR, and it's the first link up there. Download that. And the program will cost $3 or so to purchase uh, by the program, and then download the plugins pack for it. And here is the file. This is the program itself, 23 megs, and this is the plugins pack. Install the program. I will skip that since I've done that. And install the plugins pack. I recommend installing everything just for convenience. Go through the process here. The next thing you need to do, right click here and go to properties and open file location. On this page here, I will upload the link in the description again, uh, click download and it will download a CSV file. Uh, you have to grab this file here and move it over to the face track no IR directory on mine because I already have this file here it changed the name uh, make sure the name is correct uh, it should be face track no IR supported games dot CSV and that is it start up the program and you will have this here uh, this is step one select face track no IR click settings and make sure the port number matches as FreePy as you saw it was port 5555 the default is 5555 zero and that wouldn't work so make sure it's the correct one uh, okay filter I recommend no filter 
for smoothing uh, maybe five uh, zero is nice however when you're inside uh, a ship or something expect uh, the camera to move a lot so uh, five tends to work good and here at the last one select free track 2.0 in the settings click track IR height free track and make sure this is selected and that is it uh, click start and you will see as I move the headset left unless you click start this will not change so even though I am moving the headset right now, as you see, it's not moving. So click start and it's all good to go. Minimize this program as well. And in this demo, I will show Elite Dangerous. I will show the regular uh, game just to uh, show how to set it up anyways. This is the actual headset. As you can see, tracking is working perfectly. if you're having some problems and it's not working make sure all the programs are running and functioning properly if you close out of the server obviously it won't work if you close out of this one again it won't work same with the track IR so make sure all of those are still on and working properly if you found this video helpful let me know if you need some more help uh, write in the comments if you haven't already please like the video as it really helps out my channel thank you for watching guys and have a good day